We're good. All right. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the November 1st, 2016, regularly scheduled Marquette Town Charter Township Board Meeting. Um, it's 7.01. If you would join us in the pledge, we'd appreciate it. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, microphones on, please, and cell phones turned down or off. Appreciate. Uh, roll call, Randy, please. Uh, Treasurer Johnson is excused and absent this evening. Trustee Pompo? Here. Trustee Marks? Present. Treasure, uh, Trustee LaRue? Here. Trustee Trescott? Here. Clerk Retire is here, and Supervisor Durant? Here. Staff present is Manager Girard and our legal counsel, Roger Zappa. Um, committee members here from Planning Roads and Recreation is Mr. Dave Wiegand, and that's it. No. All right. So next on the agenda is the consent agenda. <clears throat> so I'll be looking for a motion to approve that. So moved. Support. And support. This will consist of <laughs> approval of the regular minutes of October 18th, received committee and other reports from the fire department business meeting draft of October 10th, as well as the officers meeting draft of the same. Road Committee agenda for November 1st, which was just prior to this. Uh, correspondence now requiring board action is correspondence from UP Power Company regarding notice of the hearing in Michigan Public Service Commission. A letter from a resident regarding Trowbridge Walking Path, who is very grateful for <coughs> the work we've done on Ontario, which was partly ours. And correspondence from Marquette County Health Department regarding liquor license application. Also included are bills payable in the amount of $298,726.25 and financial and treasurer's report from September of 2016. So we have motion and a second. Anybody wish to bring anything out? Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you. Approval of the rest of the agenda. So move. Second. Okay, in the packet, unless something got changed, is um, the agenda of 9B says off-road, and the packet has design standards in it. Oh, well, I guess. So, I'm, I'm not sure which is coming out. If they both um, do or they both come in. Well, it's not design standards. It's the off-road, uh, what the agenda item is for, so. Yeah, and there was there was no inclusion for it. It's a discussion item only. Okay, because yeah. we had moved uh, design standards, I think, to the next meeting. Yeah, I, of November. Well, I the think, planning uh, commission's still working on that. Right. So, okay, so I will make sure that's the next one then. Okay, so then there's no change to the agenda. And um, right, you don't have anything else to add. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you. Agenda is done. Public comment. Anybody wishing to address the board you can come up and speak. You want to say anything? No? Questions? No, we're good? Okay. Cross that off then. Any board member comment? Anything anybody wants to share? Yes, Randy. I have a few items here. Um, uh, we're seven days from election day um, this will be aired before election day so um, a couple of the key items will be um, this saturday november 5th the township hall will be open from noon to two for any absentee ballots given out or you can receive or we can receive them there um, and um, make sure at that time also um, you can check if you're registered or not also um, make sure if you have an absentee ballot out that it gets back to the township hall by 8 o'clock on election day or it's not going to count. So make sure if you have one out there that you get it back here in time. Um, speaking of election day, um, 
the polls are going to be open at 7 a.m. sharp, and we will close at 8, 8, 8 p.m. sharp. So um, we'll have 13 hours of voting. Hopefully the weather will be good. Um, I'm going to have plenty of staff for the precincts, so we should be good to roll. And that's all I have right now. Okay. Anybody else have anything to share or question or ask? I just have a couple things to mention. I have been working with Susan Radwan on the strategic agenda conference that we had kind of talked about, so we're still trying to firm up some dates, probably in January or first part of February. Um, committee appointments are still ongoing. I know that there are a couple people I've talked to who are still going to be submitting names if they haven't already for different committees. So before we get into that too much, we we'll make sure that this is about as full as we can with people. Um, I've just been doing lots of staff meetings and committee meetings the last couple weeks, nothing else. Um, there were two I was going to ask you gentlemen. Um, Pete, did you get up to the county township? Because usually um, I did not know Ernie it. will report on that, and he didn't get there. I just wondered what they talked oh, oh, about oh, the, um, last week or two weeks ago. For the county, uh, Market County Road? No. No, not the Road Commission, the um, oh, township. Tom, yeah, Social. I was up at that one. Did they... You want to share anything, or do you remember? No, they, they had their speaker. They had to change the speaker, so they had uh, manage, uh, waste management. He just updated it because uh, the other two speakers couldn't make it, so it's kind of a cut and dry meeting. Okay. Now, I didn't mean to put you on the spot. I just thought. No, of I got copies of this stuff in my folder. It wasn't anything. <coughs> no. Okay, so they're not working on the solid waste at all with Darlene. They were talking about trying no, to put it. That did not come up. Okay. So. I'll touch base with her again. Then I have a call into her already. You're more concerned about the ash, you know, the fly yeah, ash. It seems to be a big, yeah. big topic. Well, because they can't, they can't dump it here. They have to call it out. And, you know, so. But I got, I got the, um, the agenda and some other stuff for you. Okay. Thanks. Um, John has also taken an interest in the county sol solid waste. So, you know, at some point when they start doing their meetings and you happen to get to those, even though it's not, you're not really appointed or anything, if you want to just give us an update sometime, that would be good. But we'll coordinate that a little bit more afterward. I, again, I'm not putting you on the spot either. I just happened to think about it, just so the board kind of knows too. And that's really all I had to, to share, unless anybody has any questions about the week or anything. Okay, then we can go on. We are, um, Randy, you want to read this? We're going to go into a quick closed session. We think it'll be just a few minutes, so. Nobody has to leave. We're going to go out into another conference room, and then we'll come back. Um, okay, I'll make a motion to go into closed session pursuant to MCL 15.268-E to consult with attorney regarding trial settlement strategy in connection with specific pending litigation. But only if an open meeting would have a de detrimental financial effect on the litigating or settlement position of the public body in the case of Sims versus the Charter Township of Marquette. Second. Motion and a second. Um, I have a question for John, whether or not Trustee Pompu can come. Is this something different or should he still be, pardon? Okay, so there's nothing different that he would be able to participate, okay. Do we need to have him recuse himself before the motion's completed? It probably would to, be, to, uh, that'd be a legal question, but yeah, I would think that's I'm, appropriate. Okay. We can yes, stop the change the motion. This is strictly an update from the <laughs> attorney appointed by the insurer for the township as a defendant. So the same should apply with respect to the township manager uh, and separate counsel. So when we periodically get updates from one of those attorneys, the people who are permitted to participate change. Okay. Yes. I thought that was the case, but I wasn't sure. So do we need to rescind the motion and have the recusals first, or does that make a difference? It really doesn't make a difference as okay. long as they both occur. Okay. So we have a motion and support. Uh, going to closed session. All in favor? Nice. Right. It's a That's roll. A roll call. Yeah. Yep, as soon as I said that, sorry. Um, clerk retires, yes. Uh, Trustee LaRue? Yes. Um, Trustee Trus Truscott? Yes. Trustee Marks? Yes. Supervisor Durant? Yes. And uh, where, well, and then, uh, yeah, one absent and one can't vote on it. 
Oh, it's an abstain abstention. I'll make a motion that we excuse Trustee Pompo from the closed session. Support. Motion and support. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Okay. Do we need to do anything with Randy? I need to be <laughs> recused as well. Do? Yes. Okay. I'll make a motion that we recuse or excuse the township manager from the closed session. Support. Motion and support. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you. Okay, so we are we're in closed session at 7:12 p.m. Okay. So let's move. Okay, we will return to open session at 7:32 p.m. Okay. Is that John? Okay. You're good. Okay. Now we can do 9A. Um, local roads rehab update. Is that going to fall to you, Mr. Dave? Or unless Randy, I didn't mean to preclude you, Randy. No, I think Dave's got this covered. Yeah, just uh, briefly, Trowbridge area is done. South Vandom Boom has been on a week to 10 day delay because of the rain. And the only one that's really backed up is Baco. Um, and it's not on this job, it's on other jobs. So he's going to do the asphalting. They've already done the road prep and the surface prep for it, and they've got the uh, concrete driveways have all been poured while they're waiting for the water and sewer to be put in. And uh, they're going to do asphalt Thursday and Friday with uh, slope restoration on Monday. So they're, they should be wrapped up by the end of next week. And that's kind of following the weather too. So. Yeah, it looks like pretty good weather to do their <laughs> asphalting, so they should be able to get that done, and it looks like it's going to hold through the first part of next week anyway so we mm -hmm. should be in good shape so awesome. we should be looking to be completely done by the end of next week with both jobs wow awesome any questions for him no? <coughs> thanks, thanks again for job well done yeah okay 9b is discussion then the agenda says orv ordinance that we sent to we had requests we sent to the county to ask them if they would be willing to change their ordinance and they said no so um it's, i guess it's just up to the township board would you rather pursue it or do you just want to let it i mean the county's not going to change your ordinance so Pete, go ahead. i'd like to, you know i think we should go with the county uh manistique tried one way they went back to the ordinance to the county it works out uh is it going to be without problem probably not you know it's always going to have that and uh I would make a motion that we adopt the county. Okay. I don't know if we have to. Are we under the county anyway, Randy? Yeah, is it a default to them? Yeah, the, the, well, no. The uh, prior, prior township board has formally adopted the county ordinance. Uh, it basically accepted that as the township's ordinance. Uh, and, you know, what you've done at this point, you've identified two areas. I believe it was two. might have been three areas of the county ordinance that you wanted to see some modification in. Uh, I think what you have to consider is regardless of what you do, whether you stay with the county ordinance or adopt your own ordinance, you're going to have equal problems on either side, equal issues. Um, you know, the, the, the whole issue is access. And without, uh, without anything other than the paved roads, we don't have a trail system, we don't have a pathway system, we don't have sidewalks, we don't have anywhere for the ATVs to go other than on the roadways. And that will create issues with traffic and it will create issues with neighborhoods and noise. So whichever way you go, you're going to have some, some issues. It's a matter of weighing uh, which issues you want to address. And this has been the ordinance that's been in place now for all the years that I've been here uh, uh, with, the, uh, with the township. You have adopted the, uh, the county's ordinance. So you have options, and you, know, you have the option of adopt, continuing to follow the, the uh, county's ordinance or adopting your own ordinance, which could be as simple. And again, you'd, you'd have to have legal review of it, but I believe it could be as simple as simply taking the language of the county ordinance, changing the areas, two or three areas you want to change, and adopting it as your ordinance. So it's really uh, in the township board's hands. I mean, it's up to you which way you want to go. Well, the times were an issue, I remember, too. And uh, as far as how, when they could be on the roads, or it was 10 yeah. o'clock or 11 or something. You had a speed issue, you had a time issue, and you had a routing issue. Uh, that I think you identified. I think there were three items that you identified. I can't remember exactly, but I think it was three items. It was how do you get from point A to point B 
um, the speed that you're allowed to go and uh, the hours that you would be allowed to operate. So maybe at some point too then um, when we do have this trail overlay maybe we look at this again and if we can come up with some kind of direct access and we want to address it we can. Well, right now you're saying that we're just adopt the county right we go by the counties you already have you would right. have, you would basically have to take no action you know right. and the county's okay. ordinance still continues but the the other the other piece to this whole puzzle is whatever you do you need to notify the sheriff's department mm -hmm. because they're the enforcing agency whichever way it is no i don't think you have to do anything in writing i think you just to let them know that you're either staying with the county's ordinance or you're not gentlemen did you, did you oh dave hate to jump in here but you, you can't just adopt the county ordinance because the county ordinance has a paragraph in there that uh, restricts or the operation in the township of Marquez so they they have to change their ordinance regardless that's why I didn't understand their whole approach to it because if you accept operation within the township under the county ordinance the county has to go in and change that section that exempts Marquette Township but they didn't just change that just now it's already always been it's there. always been there yeah. so if but you adopt the county adopted. ordinance then ORV operations in Marquette Township are not Done. allowed yeah and that's where you ran into conflict because the sheriff's department was enforcing that and you were getting the complaints because people want to drive their side-by-sides on the roadways and they're not allowed to under the county ordinance their snow machines and, and eight AV eight TVs are not allowed on the roadways in Marquette Township as it sits and that has been the regulation for a long time that's what the county ordinance says so, so if you decide that you want to operate ORVs and snowmobiles under the county ordinance then you have to notify the county that they need to lift the exemption for Marquette Township and they've said that they will not do that which means you will have to adopt your own ordinance okay. and that's really the question the, the the township board previous township board's position has been no we're not going to allow that in the township and that's why the county's ordinance accepts Marquette Township because the township board said no we're not doing it and that is what's currently in place so the the issue is if you want to expand that and if you want to allow the use of eight, uh, ATVs ORVs whatever on the roadways in the township you can no longer be under the current town county ordinance because it specifically excludes Marquette Township okay. that is what I was thinking because that's why I said if we've got a trail map at some point we can come back to this yes so as it sits right now they're not allowed to use them in correct the and the sheriff's department has been ticketing uh, folks that have them on the roadways and that's what caused the issue to come back to the board I don't I think we should just allow it and, and do it that way that's all we have to do is add our name to it no nope. we just what, no. what you would have to do at that point then is you would have to Dave's absolutely right you would have to reject the town the county's ordinance and go under the state law or adopt your own ordinance you got basically three options why don't we just so adopt right it and allow it to the state the state law uh, in a real nutshell the state law allows ORV and ATV use within the right-of-way of the road or on a shoulder if a shoulder is available and I honestly believe that's what we should do yeah and th previously this governing body has said no we don't want to allow that so you adopted the county ordinance and told the county ordinance not only do we not want to do that we don't want any use in the township similar to what chocolate township did with snowmobiles so that's where it stands right that's now. that's where it stands right now so we already have um we already have it in place that they cannot correct that is the current stat status so in order to change that i don't know that that's something we want to do just tonight I mean, if you want to make a motion, that's up to you. But I just think I we think, should move it along. Well, we need to define the trails. Right. We need to de decide what we're going to do with speed limits and stuff then. I mean, it's going to be a little, we can have the discussion now if you want. What does the state say for speed limit? Same as uh, the speed limit on the road now, 25 miles an hour, 35. Yeah. They ride to the right of the road. Yep, to operate within the roadway, There's you have to be licensed. Problem with that. Yeah, you have to have the lights and you have to be capable of 25 mile an hour exactly. speeds. I don't that's see anything wrong with just that. Just on I think county roads then too, or any road? Well, they're all county roads. They're all county. Well, I mean, the crossroads aren't. I mean, uh, uh, Ontario would be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's no all, all of the township roads are county roads. Okay. And and that's where you run into the issue in residential areas well, is because they're all county roads. They still are in, oh, yeah. in residential. Yeah. Oh yes. 
Well, I guess, yeah, because they would follow yep. them and stuff. Yep, well, kinda. not all of them. They don't all maintain all of them. Private roads, they don't. But right. they, but all of the roadways, the named roadways in Marquette Township are county roads. Okay. So, the, And that was the, the issue because we don't have sides. We don't have shoulders. We don't have a variety of things. And that, that was the issue in the past. The, the township pre prior boards did not want to mix that traffic with vehicle traffic. I just think we, whatever we have to do to, to move this thing along instead of hanging on to it, because we hang on too many things, find out what we have to do, and let's get it done at the next meeting. Okay, let's put it back on the next agenda then and get some information, more information. We'll get a copy of the state. Okay, and then so I can we'll withdraw exactly my motion. Then. Okay. All right, what I will do then is I will have, I will have uh, Jason, representing the Planning Commission, pull together the state statute the county ordinance and what options might be available. You know, some of the options that were talked about was identifying trailering sites, you know, that they could access the trails. And we have a, an issue because we have a break in our trail system between south and north with US 41. That's why I said until we have some kind of a trail system in place, that it's kind of a, we don't know what that is yet, but we can have a basic discussion, at least get some more information. Let's do that next meeting. Would you like input from the Road Commission? <clears throat> we have we have the state stat the state statute and we have the county's ordinance. Um, do you want to have any input from the Road Commission? Uh, say yeah, any information we since could it's get. their roads. I don't know. Do we get like to address you again? Um, I think Dan had his hand up first. He's it sounds like. <laughs> um. I think since we are talking about the neighborhoods in the township, I think I would think anyway that we should probably consider a public hearing on this without us making a decision before we hear what the public has to say about well, ORVs. We still, and we'll have to do some information, though, get it. I think if we spend, you know, half an hour or so compiling information next meeting, and so we need to have all our T's crossed. And yeah, Road Commission, then the Sheriff, too. Yeah, it's probably just, well, Sheriff really doesn't care what it is. They'll enforce whatever it is that okay. we do. Yeah. If, okay. if I could Dave, throw a couple sure. things in there. <laughs> if you go back and read the letter that the county responded to, they said they would not amend their ordinance to accommodate the speed limit and the time changes right. and all that. Yep. If the township adopted the county ordinance to allow ORVs and snow machines to operate within the city, the county would remove that exemption from their ordinance, but they won't add the Times. three items, uh, right. hours of operation, speed limits, and all that, that the township wanted put in specific to Marquette Township. And as far as public hearing goes, if, if you're talking about implementing an ordinance, I think you have to have a public hearing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we still need to do some legwork here, though. Thanks, Dave. Yeah, I just noticed this. Now those are. I haven't seen the agenda, so I didn't know what to bring. Yeah, now those those documents are going to be fairly sizable, I think. So we'll run hard copies and put them in your mailboxes, because I know some of you won't be able to receive it electronically if it's beyond a certain size. Well, whatever it pertains to us, we wouldn't have to have. Well, if you're looking for the state and for the county's full ordinances that. They, they, I can't remember how big they are. If they're reasonably small, we'll do them as a compressed PDF and send them out electronically. But if they're 20, 30 pages, we'll just print them. I think we should have a hard copy anyway. So the county and the state and the right, road committee. Commission. And then we have a copy of ours. Okay. All right. We'll save some time for that on the next agenda. So I'll, I'll move that we... Um, put this item back on the next agenda under, under unfinished business okay motion and support all in favor aye aye all opposed thank you new business budget amendment 2016-04 oh this says one four yeah it's 2016 it 14 14 should be 14, 14. Um, present to the board the budget amendment 2016-14 uh, uh, make a motion to approve that it'll be as always they'll be in the minutes and the highlights of the uh, budget amendment is authorization for $3,000 for the MNRTF 
Schwimwood Pook project for uh, professional services. Also requested is 40,000 for professional services for legal and appraisal uh, services. This will come from the fund balance. In addition is a request for reclassifying expenditures in the water fund. Um, various departments will have higher than budget expenditures from phone, utilities, well chemicals, uniforms, etc. Um, largest increase request is an additional $25,000 in water usage um, as purchases are on track to be 25% higher than in 2015. In addition, Cox Avenue project requires an additional $10,000 for the water main repair. The offset will come from the contingency and replacement improvement fund. So that's the highlight of, of that budget amendment. I made a motion to approve that. Can we have a second? Second. Mm -hmm. Motion and support. Any questions or all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? It's a roll call vote. Oh, yes. Clerk Retire is yes. Uh, Trustee LaRue? Yes. Trustee Truscott? Yes. Trustee Pompo? Yes. Trustee Marks? Yes. Supervisor Durant? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. Uh, 10B is the Marquette Township Manager's Evaluation. This is just informational. Everybody submitted their evaluation of the manager for this year, actually for last year, up through September, I believe, of 16. Um, the score was, and I didn't bring it, I went into my office to get it, and it was 3.33, I believe. 3.3, yeah. 3.3 which is in between good performance and exceptional performance, which is good. Um, the comments were good. And um, any, any, it was just informational for you. Anything yeah, it, it, it was um, a 3.1 last year, or 3.3 this year, so it's a, above a good performance is the final tally. And I guess um, Manager Gerard has opportunity to speak to it if he wishes. Yeah, just to clarify, it's a 3.3 on a four-point scale. Yeah. Um, and uh, really the only comment that I'll make is uh, thank uh, board members for their continued support and confidence and uh, look forward to 17. Great, thanks. And that's just kind of a segue right into your manager's report. <clears throat> How about that? Well, you do have, <clears throat> excuse me, you do have a printed report. And I really don't have a whole lot to add to the printed report uh, unless board members have any questions. Uh, I did provide you the uh, third quarter update on the goals and objectives for 2016. Should be all wrapped up by uh, uh, the end of 2016. By the end of December, the drain commissioner and his engineer is working with the uh, road commission to resolve some of the issues that I identified in the drainage uh, areas, uh, drainage issues. And I should be getting a report back from them hopefully by the end of next week. Randy, can you give us a little, we've had quite a few DDA meetings, just get the board up to speed on where we are with what's happening with that. We are right now uh, awaiting the uh, final report from Parsons Brinkerhoff, which will be the uh, design report uh, of, of the uh, US 41 corridor. And that will include uh, the things that uh, the business community and the public have been concerned about, the uh, configuration of the US 41, uh, will be some modification of the Target and Walmart uh, intersections. Uh, and uh, primarily pedestrian access, uh, potential lighting, and a little bit of discussion on speed. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get into that, but if you'll recall, with well, some of the issues that are going on on the eastern part of US 41 with the addition of uh, at least two additional roundabouts and some uh, changes to the intersections uh, within the city, uh, we are looking at the potential of reducing, potentially reducing the speed through the corridor here in the township. Um, the US 41 is no longer the traffic mover it was originally designed to be. We have a series of stoplights, traffic light, uh, signalized intersections, and now we'll be adding two more, uh, two more roundabouts on the eastern portion of it, and I believe left turn lanes at the McClellan intersection. So that will uh, dramatically change the, uh, the flow of traffic. And now we've got the light here at Commerce, we've got the light at uh, at uh, Brickyard, we've got the light at the Target and Walmart intersection. So basically, it's been uh, broken up into smaller sections, and uh, the current speed limits, 45 and 50, are probably a little high. So we'll be looking at that as well. Uh, I'm not sure that uh, we'll be able to uh, reduce the speed limit. As you'll recall, we'll have to do a speed study 
the way speed studies are done is they set the speed at the 85th percentile of the speed that traffic is actually moving at. And we know that uh, through the segment here in the township, people are ignoring the 45 and 50 speed limits and going 60, 65. So we may, in fact, with a speed study, see an increase in, uh, in speed to 55. So we're weighing the options of that, and we'll be bringing that back to you. Uh, we expect the report from Parsons Brinker off by the end of next week. Uh, we'll probably be scheduling a special meeting of the DDA so they can review that information and be prepared to bring a presentation to you. Excellent. Thank you. Any questions for the manager about anything? Yes, Pete. Leaf hauling, where I know it's almost done now, but on our Saturday, next time we do this, on Saturday, 9 to 12, it's just really not realistic to start hauling because most people work during the week. They get up, there's the time they get it all loaded and rake their yard and then go up there at 9 to 12, it's just really not. So if we, anything can move there, that'd be good. Yeah, we really haven't set a deadline as yet. I mean, there's still a lot of leaves on trees. I know. Uh, trees well, are Saturday still greened out. From 9 to 12, and that's kind of. Well, I think that has to do with their operating hours. I think that's their hours, not ours. Well, they have a problem we set. with our system. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing yeah. is, um, I mentioned a little bit earlier, with the, the door at the, at the at the Lions Recreation Area, about a tennis court, mm -hmm. uh, I asked about it, and they said, you know, heavy winds, the door will blow open, so I think we have to do something with the door, get new locks on it or something. We actually need new doors. Right. Um, the doors are pretty much shot. I went by the 10 to 10, and the door's wide open, lights are on and stuff like that. Maybe we should have motion lights in there or something, you know, something, but we don't have to leave them on. <laughs> Look to our resident electrician here. Huh? We have installed motion lights at the uh, at the pavilion at the ice rink. Uh, one of the issues that we've got with the pavilion at Lions Field at the ball field is is that we're still in the consideration stage of uh, modifying that to a concession area, which would mean that it would basically be revamped. So we've been trying not to spend a lot of money on it. But uh, the doors definitely need to be secured, and we'll get that taken care of. What about the hours for the ice rink? I mean, we do have it. We'll go be going right back to our hours until 10 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Gabe will be restructuring uh, again the uh, the scheduling, so we'll have presence there. That's all I have. Okay. Anything else for the manager? We're good. All right, we're back to public comment already. Holy smokes, we might do this before eight o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> now don't talk slow, Dave. Yeah. Come on. He didn't take a lunch with him. Just a, a couple comments, mostly about that ORV ordinance. It would seem to me that the board already made a decision on that, what they wanted to see in the ordinance. I don't know why we don't send that back to the Planning Commission to do the ordinance, include those items the board wanted, conduct the public hearing that they're supposed to do with an ordinance, and then send it back to the board as a recommendation. Just makes it a lot cleaner, I would think. But that's just me. <laughs> thanks. Okay, thanks. Anybody else wish to address the board? Questions? No? The students drew the right cards for this yeah. meeting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is the shortest meeting I know of. You're usually <laughs> here till almost 10. <laughs> you got dates. Okay. Any additional board member comments? Yes, Brandy. Dave, I, I was thinking of that. I didn't want to jump in and send it back to the planning commission but maybe we can <coughs> i can talk to the planner and maybe we can add that to our agenda i don't think it has no and I, it is an ordinance so i do agree with you it probably should start there and work its way out from there but what goes to the planning commission should be directed from the board and we haven't compiled what we want to direct so then Let's maybe find out we'll wait till next meeting so my th so after next meeting then we'll make it probably make a decision to send it to the planning That's commission okay and then with that um, again election day is a week from today next tuesday on november 8th polls are open from seven in the morning to eight at night um, and i hope everyone comes and votes uh, absentee ballots we're, we're almost at 800 given out and i've gotten 75 percent of them back so um, very good return and again um, you have the rest of this week and you have till four o'clock on monday to get an absentee ballot if you so desire so um, 
Other than that, we'll see you on election day. Yes. You have, uh, I think, a January 7th or something like that for a meeting with the uh, business association. Is that still on? 17th. Yeah, in fact, I emailed them again today and said okay. I don't have an answer. Okay, I just We've wanted to bring it up. We've got the community center set aside All right. in the hall. Okay. But, yeah, thanks for the reminder. Um, I've sent him, like, three messages for other stuff, too, and I haven't gotten an answer. I'm probably just going to have to call him. It's a hard guy to get a hold of. So I will follow up on that again. Anything else? Yes, please vote, folks. I mean, even if you vote against everything that I believe in, I don't care. I would rather have you vote than not. Don't sit home. This is an important election. It's your country. You need to do something about it. You need to make an, a difference. Your vote does matter. Don't, don't come up with that. Mine's just one vote. If 100 million people said that, we'd be in a world of hurt. It's your government. That's why we're here, right? Making a difference. I should have a little flag. Okay, that's all we need then. We just need one more motion. Motion to adjourn. Second. Motion and support. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you. Let's we see, are funny done.